Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I am back today with something a little bit different for you. I had thrown the question out a few bit videos back asking if you guys would want to see what I found thrift shopping, that type of thing while we were on vacation, and you guys said you did. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you what I found. Everything has been washed up and cleaned up and all of that, and before I actually put it all away, Let's do this video. And I'm in the same shirt I was in in yesterday's video because I just made that one. Now I'm making this one. So anyway, what was in my thumbnail? I have some thrift shop things and I also have some like souvenir type stuff that I got for myself just because I thought it was adorable. The first thing that I'm gonna show is what was in my thumbnail, one of the items. I found a pair of Sam Edelman. A pair of like summer, just nude color pump sandals. They have the chunky heel. You can see that these were not worn very much because even the logo inside the sole of the shoe is still fully intact. They were a little bit, they are a little bit scuffed here and there, but I think they are beautiful. I looked these up online. I believe these are called the Yaro, Y-A-R-O sandal. These are $100 when you buy them new. I would never spend $100 on a pair of shoes for myself, especially this type of style that I would only wear once or twice. These are not the most comfortable shoes in the world. These are more type shoes like to wear to a wedding, standing looking pretty for pictures, that type of thing. Getting them for $8 in this condition, I, I wasn't gonna pass them up. I think that is amazing. So yeah, I picked up a pair of, pair of shoes. I mean, and everything is totally functioning. The, you know, the little hook is wonderful. Everything is in great shape. So yeah, these will be put away. You can see there's a little scuff here. I'm just gonna have to maybe try to find a crayon or something in this shade and, and just cover it up. I think that's an amazing deal. They're beautiful. So that was my one designer purchase for $8 instead of 100 And then I found this little bralette, just a very comfy sports bra style bralette. And this is by Vince Camuto. This still had the tags on it and I got it for $2. Or was it $1.80? It may have been $1.80, but it is Vince Camuto is the designer on that. So I wasn't gonna pass that up either. I love these little comfy, just comfy style bras. I think that's amazing. And it's even in my size and everything. So awesome. And then you guys all know, if you've been here long enough, we live in Pennsylvania and the winters get cold and we have steam heat, the big, big metal radiators. The house gets very, very dry. So in the winter time, even now they're still there. We have tea kettles on every radiator and we keep them filled with water and that way as the radiator gets hot the water out of the tea kettles evaporates into the air and just helps keep it more moisturized the air moisturized whatever you call that more humidity in the house so finding tea kettles around here is very hard to do because there's a lot of people like us that have radiators that use tea kettles on top of them in the winter so it's very hard to find them. So we went down there and found this beautiful one. This thing is weighty. There's some weight to this. And the lid comes off. You just fill it with water. Very clean. Like you could even use this to boil water in because it's so clean. But the nice tea kettle. And I think we paid, now that the tag is off, but I think it was like $4 is all we paid for this. I think that is amazing. So we picked up a tea kettle. How random is that? We go the whole way from Pennsylvania to North Carolina to get a tea kettle. But we weren't gonna pass that up. And this is, there's some weight to this guy. I think this is the heaviest tea kettle that we have here in the house. David Burke, Stainless Steel Two Quart is the name of the company. I don't, I don't know that company name, but excellent. And then I found myself just some summer, these I, you know, I'm probably almost done with the season wearing these now, but I found myself some little summer capri pants. These are kind of like a, um, 
like a cotton type fabric, a thicker, almost like denim, but white. Very simple. They do have side pockets. They have an elasticized waist. And do you guys remember the company Alfred, Alfred Dunner? Alfred Dunner. I thought that was really cool. And they're just simple, basic capri pants. There were no stains on these, nothing. There wasn't a flaw in them. So they're all washed up now. I'll probably just you know, put these away for next season. But I thought that was great. Great find. So another brand name, I guess, Alfred, du Alfred, Alfred Dunner. I don't know why I have trouble saying that. I don't remember what store sold Alfred Dunner, but I wasn't going to pass them up. And I think they were like $1.50 is all they were. And then I found this pair. I used to have a pair identical to this a few years back. And they're also the Capri style, but these are more like the, um, like a lightweight sweatshirt fabric. I loved these in the fall, just because we still get warmer days throughout the fall. And these are just so nice. They're just snugly for in the mornings, but yet, you know, light enough that you're not gonna, not gonna sweat like crazy. And they, they're kind of the cargo style. They have the pockets on the lower leg. I thought those were really nice. And these are basic edition. Was that Walmart from a few years back? Basic edition, for some reason that label looks familiar. So I wasn't gonna pass these up. You can, they're kind of wrinkled, guys, because I just kind of folded them up quickly right out of the dryer, but it is what it is. They're just for me to lounge around the house in, nice, comfy, cozy type capri pants, which will be longer than capri on me because I'm not that tall. But I wasn't gonna pass these up, and I think these as well, they were like $1.50 or less. They had some nice thrift shops down there. I just, by chance, I was looking it up, trying to find a Goodwill that was local to the like Atlantic Beach, Moorhead City. Couldn't find one, but all these other thrift shops popped up. It, one was a Salvation Army. There were a couple like church, faith-based thrift shops. So me and hubby had a good time. He also found a really nice black leather belt, and I think it was $2. We just, he's wearing it, so I can't show it to you, but I have been on the hunt for a black blazer. I just want a simple, no fuss, no muss black blazer. And again, I went the whole way to North Carolina to find one. And this is Sag Harbor. There was no size in it, so I tried it on in the store just to see if it would fit, and it fits perfectly. It has little lightweight shoulder pads in it, just a simple black bla basic blazer. And this was so new that nobody even had undid the pockets. They were stitched shut. Maybe a lot of you don't know that. A lot of items that you get, you may not realize there's a pocket there, but there is. They they stitch the pocket shut. And I think they do that just for like ironing purposes in the factory, that type of thing. So, you know, when you get an item, just check to see if there is a pocket, you know, a, a pocket compartment on the inside, and then you'll know that there is a pocket. And just to very gently use a seam ripper or little tiny pointed scissors and take that stitch out that's across, and you'll have a functioning pocket. This washed up amazingly well. It was, you could tell nobody had really worn this much. It was in perfect condition. No snags. And it's a lighter weight fabric, like a summer cotton so I thought this would be really nice through the fall. So I can layer my, you know, my t-shirts under it. I can then move on to a little bit of a medium weight sweaters underneath it. Just basic black. And I believe this was $2. Amazing. And then these are more of my, what I bought for me from the souvenir shops. Because when you go on vacation, especially to those type of beach areas, very touristy, you know that there's those shops everywhere. And of course, we have to stop. We pick up things for the kids and grandkids. And I got myself a hat. I wear baseball caps a lot. And I'm not kidding you guys. The whole week we were down there, I did not put on makeup one time. I didn't even get my makeup bag out of the vehicle the entire time. It was just that kind of, of trip. It was just so relaxed and just amazing. I did put on nicer clothes when we went out to a restaurant, but... You know, 90% of the time I had on an oversized t-shirt and biker shorts and a baseball cap. It was, I didn't even do my hair. I washed my hair, obviously, 
but you know, I wore a baseball cap. It was just that kind of trip and it was wonderful. But this hat just called my name and it said Salty Squad and then Atlantic Beach on it. I thought that was so fun and so cute. So that was the hat that I bought myself. To go with that, this t-shirt, I wore it straight from like from the store when I got home. I didn't even wash it. I put it on. I didn't care. It's like the matching hat. This has the, um, oh, what is the name of that fish? I can't remember the name of that fish. The big ones. That's its tail. But the fish on here, it's the same type of thing. On the front, it has the little graphic. On the back, it says Salty Squad, and that is Mahi Mahi, which is one of my absolute favorite fishes to eat. I love Mahi Mahi. We went to an amazing restaurant down there and had fresh Mahi Mahi, and I loved it so much that we went back a second time before we came home. It was just the most simple meal. It was a beautiful flake of Mahi Mahi, just grilled, lightly salt and peppered with a baked potato, a side salad, their hush puppies. It was just delicious. It was probably, I think I told hubby, and I know I've told my daughters, probably the best meal I have ever had in my life. It was so simple and delicious. And when I saw the, the salty squad with the Mahi Mahi on it, I went ahead and picked it up. It's a like a faded out black or like a gray. So nice. And I just like the salty squad because, you know, everybody can be a little salty every once in a while. So I got myself that. And then kind of to match it, but more for when the weather turns a little bit cooler, I got myself a long sleeved t-shirt. And it also has the little, the little patch on the front that says salty squad. And this, my second probably favorite fish is tuna. Big hunks of filet. I'll eat tuna fish right out of the can. And this is a bluefin tuna on here. And what I really like, ever since I was young, I have loved long sleeve t-shirts with writing down the sleeve. This had it. And it says Atlant Atlantic Beach, North Carolina. So that just made me happy. And then on the back, it's the full graphic that says Salty Squad with the blue fin tuna. I just love these. And I'll be able to wear these with a pair of, I have an, a navy pair of um, like capri lightweight sweatpants or even my white, even black. I just thought that was so cool. So that's what I got myself. And hubby got himself some t-shirts and a hat that has Atlantic Beach on it. Last year when we went down, he actually bought himself a t-shirt that said it was light gray with Atlantic Beach. He has worn that so many times, you can't even read it anymore. The graphic is just gone. But it is just the nicest weight fabric, and he wears it all the time. I've been sitting here with this hat on my head, guys. I, I like hats. That way I don't have to do my hair. If any of you ever see me out and about and I have a hat on, it's because I just didn't feel like doing my hair that day. So, and if I have sunglasses on, it means I haven't put on makeup either. Because a lot of the times, that's how I am. But I think we found some amazing things. And I've told the daughters about the thrift shops down there. And they've both said for next year, that's on the to-do list. Is to hit up the thrift shops. Because all the kids love thrift shops. All my daughters, they all love going to Goodwills and community aid, Salvation Armies, they're all thrift shoppers and you find amazing things. So don't poo poo go into those kind of stores. It's just incredible. You find brand new things with, you know, with, with tags still on that nobody's even worn. So anyway, guys, I hope you like this. Something a little bit different for you. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here and put all this stuff away now. And sometime in the near future, I've placed myself a, um, a Walmart order well, several, and it's coming in slowly. Everything's being delivered. I've been kind of picking myself up some fall clothes and found another little lighter weight coat. I got myself that beautiful, um, who was it? Jessica, Jessica Simpson winter coat. But that one is a very heavy, heavy coat for in the you know cold of winter. I needed something more lightweight that I can wear in the fall into the winter. So I found that coat and just, I found myself just a bunch of stuff and 
as it comes in. I'm just kind of accumulating it here. And if you guys would like to see that video, I'll go ahead and make that sometime in the near future too, once, once everything's in. So, all right, everybody, if you like this, please subscribe, comment down below, just click that like button, all the stuff, you know what to do. Anyway, I'm going to go put this stuff away. I hope you're all doing well. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.